more Americans are dealing with chronic illnesses than ever before. Yet as research continues to look for the reasons why so many people are so sick, there's a growing body of knowledge that seems to indicate that it's possible to use a simple plant-based diet to take control of your health. Our next guests today are physician assistant Allison Garish and Dr. Amanda McKinney, who was featured in the documentary Eating You Alive. They are in town to speak tonight at the Avera Prairie Center about the benefits of a plant-based diet. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. for having us. So now first, before we get into this documentary and what we're going to learn at this event tonight, I just want to ask first, what is the plant-based nutrition of South Dakota? Plant-based nutrition of South Dakota is uh, originally a Facebook page that I created um, because when people start to learn about this way of eating and this lifestyle, it can be really challenging to get started. And I think it's even more challenging in the state that we live in, um, just being that we don't have like a big, huge metropolitan area like Minneapolis. Um, so when I originally started eating this way, I didn't know anybody and I felt very isolated and alone. So I thought it would be a great way to create community support, um, share recipes and tips and tricks that work for myself and my family. Um, and then just kind of create more awareness here locally. And you were telling me too that you don't recommend this just to people who only eat plant-based and will not touch meat. It really is something for everyone. Right, because no matter where you're at in your diet and your lifestyle, any improvement you make is going to make a significant impact on your health. So Dr. McKinney, tell me about this documentary and what you learned. So uh, this was filmed a couple of years ago. Um, and um, Dr. Esselstyn, who uh, has been sort of my mentor, uh, he wrote the book uh, Prevent Reverse Heart Disease, uh, had suggested uh, to the producers that they come out to Nebraska and talk to me. And so they did. And uh, it's really a, uh, it's a compilation of a lot of different physicians, uh, patients who've had positive experiences with plant-based diets, who have uh, reversed chronic disease. Uh, and so it's really just very informational it's, and it's inspirational. And uh, so I hope people will come out and, and watch. And people will be able to get to learn things from you at tonight's event because you are being featured. But take me back to the beginning. You started eating plant-based about nine years ago. What really started that for you? So, um, so interestingly, my mother um, found a book uh, called The China Study. And it was written by T. Colin Campbell, who is a researcher at Cornell University. And uh, she said, you know, you really need to read this book. Uh, and so I did, and it fundamentally changed the way that I thought about and practiced medicine. Um, there was so much information on it about nutrition and about the role that nutrition plays in disease uh, that I never learned in medical school. And we are uh, notoriously bad in this country for educating physicians about nutrition. Most uh, medical students don't get any nutrition training or very little. Uh, and so, uh, it transformed the way that I ate. Um, my family all joined on board. Um, and so uh, I started telling my patients about it. Uh, and then it just went from there. Now places in our community are kind of jumping on board with plant-based eating too as well. But thinking back to nine years ago when you first started, how has this changed for you in an easier way as far as having more variety goes? Right. So, you know, really a whole foods plant-based diet um, is focused on uh, whole, you know, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, um, legumes or beans, uh, and seeds and nuts. And so that's the, where the, the vast majority of your calories should be coming from. Those things are pretty much available wherever you want to go. And really, we, we focus on whole foods because we want to minimize processed food. Um, the American diet is about 62% processed food, uh, and it's about 25% animal products. So if you just start in increasing those whole foods in your diet, it's easy to whittle down those other pieces. So those things are readily available. But things like plant-based milks, um, those, uh, you know, didn't used to be very readily available. And so, you know, we, where I live, uh, I live in southeast Nebraska, uh, we pretty much have Walmart to shop at. And, you know, at that time, it was hard to get some soy milk or almond milk. Uh, but now if you go to Walmart, there's every variety of plant-based milk you can imagine right there in, in, the, um, in what used to be called the dairy aisle, right? Uh, and there's a lot more, uh, you know, push to, to have plant-based meats and things like 
you know, you hear about the Impossible Whopper and some of these things at Burger King and these other places. And while those are beneficial in terms of the resource usage um, and greenhouse gas emissions, they're not really part of a whole foods plant-based diet in the sense that they're highly processed, they still have a lot of fat in them, uh, and, and we really are, are wanting to focus a shift on, you know, those things are, are meant to be treats rather than part of the regular diet. Uh, and we really want to focus on, as Allison said, adding those whole plant foods into the diet as much as possible and getting the other stuff out. So Allison, from different events that you've held, and if you want to share from your personal experience, I mean, how much can eating plant-based make a difference in someone's health? Um, it can make a huge difference. I mean, even if you're already healthy, it's going to make you sustain that health throughout your life. Um, you know, a lot of people are living a long time. A lot of people always say, well, my grandpa lived till he was 90 and he smoked or he ate a lot of these unhealthy foods. But um, it's really about the quality of life that we can obtain. Um, people who eat this way um, have all positive side effects instead of negative effects from taking pills. So there's usually um, increased sleep or less need for sleep because you have more energy. Um, there's a lot less abdominal issues. I mean, so many people in America are constipated because they're so deficient in fiber. Um, there's just the list goes on and on. So it's really preventing um, seven of the top 10 causes of death in the United States are strongly linked to nutrition. So by changing your lifestyle um, to more of a whole food plant-based lifestyle, you're really going to set yourself up for the most optimal health that is possible. Let's go over the um, event details now quick. So it's at the Avera Prairie Center, and it's tonight at 6.30, and can people just show up? Do they need to sign up? They can just show up. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for joining me today. Thanks thank so much. Thank you for having us.